Do you feel at times that chaos rules your business? I'm doing a series on creativity, and I hope you've seen the video about Little Mac and his five imaginations. Chaos isn't necessarily a bad thing. Chaos and cre creativity do have a connection. For those of us who like to feel we have a little bit of control over our businesses, chaos can feel very scary. But there is a little bit of magical chaos in creativity. I was a high school teacher and a coach for about a decade, and I used to call my classroom management style carefully controlled chaos. That was where the magic developed. That was where the best teaching moments arrived. It was also where the deep learning occurred. If you've ever been a teacher or facilitator, I'm sure you can identify with that analogy. It's a fine line between chaos and discovery. Being creative in your business is very similar. How long has it been since you've let your imagination run just a little bit wild to get to the really juicy ideas. I 100% understand that right now, being conservative, being safe, going back to tried and true is where many of us want to be. But let's be honest. We are in completely uncharted waters. And what is tried and true right now? It doesn't exist. Starting your own business involves a great deal of risk, and yet here you are. Isn't your business, your success, worth taking another leap of faith, a little or a big risk to take it to the next level? Chaos and creativity go hand in hand. Allow a little bit of chaos into your life and your business and see where it might take you. There may be some mad genius behind it all. Take a risk on your own behalf and allow yourself to be wildly successful. And sometime in the new year, I want you to tell me how it went. <laughs>